each of you is here because you said that this election, you voted for the very first time. And so I want to hear from each of you, what was running through your head and your heart in that moment? During the voting, I was just kind of anxious to get it over with and uh, get my voting done and counted. Putting it in the envelope and putting it in the mailbox, it was really um, exciting and it made me really excited for the future. And um, it made me feel important, even though it's just one vote, it all matters in the grand scheme of things. Well, I was really excited because it was my first time. So actually going there and everything, I was, I thought it was going to be like a fun experience. I thought the process of voting was going to be like complicated and like choosing who you want and who you don't. But after the whole process, I felt pretty calm and pretty, um, you know, responsible with my decision. Uh, filling it out and casting it, leaving, I was just like, okay, you know, I did my part. That was it. It's kind of just something you do. I was a little bit cynical because I didn't really know if it would matter or if uh, it was kind of for a show if that makes sense so i felt like pretty excited that i was doing it and then like slightly worried that if like everything was like filled out correctly did you go in knowing how you wanted to vote on on everything that was on that ballot or were there some things where you were making up your mind in that moment so i did a little bit of research but i also um just stuck with my party and voted um consistent uh, i looked up my ballot before i'd gone in so i generally knew exactly what i was voting for on who i was voting for I had a couple issues that were more important to me than others, so I really focused on those. I, I really only knew for sure um, where I was going to go for the presidential vote. When actually I was like filling out the vote, I felt like kind of lost because I saw a lot of names I didn't even like know about. What would have made it easier for you to feel like an informed voter on everything that was on that ballot? I think it definitely would have been easier if I could just have the facts and then make my own decision rather than listening to somebody else make their decision for me. Uh, did you ever get contacted by anybody? I actually got a text message from one of the parties and it was kind of distasteful. Not the message itself, but the act of sending me a message trying to persuade me into doing something I didn't really approve of. And I also got a lot of mail. I actually did work on a campaign as an intern doing like the social media stuff. And the last week they made us like call people doing phone banks. Did you enjoy the experience of doing that phone banking, of calling people and talking to them? Not really, because I mean, it was like, <laughs> <laughs> like 50 calls. I would get like three of them answered and like they would like hang up or be like rude. Well, I want to step back now and think about our democratic system as a whole and ask a pretty big question, which is, do you think your vote mattered? I would like to believe so personally, but I can only do my part. I think it does. I think it's just in the act of it itself, maybe not the vote. Um, that's important, just showing that like younger people are voting. I heavily do not degree, uh, do not agree with the winner take all electoral college system. I think that's totally broken and needs to be reformed. Um, because in that sense, no, my vote did not count. The mm -hmm. candidate got nothing from me. Amelia, how about you? Do you feel like your vote counted? I do, because I think that'll help motivate me to vote in the future as well. Um, I think it's kind of easy to think it doesn't, because in the grand scheme of things, one vote, if I didn't vote, it wouldn't really make a difference. But I think if everyone had that mindset, then it would make a difference. So I definitely do think it counts. My state is definitely the furthest thing from a swing state. Um, and I don't necessarily agree with the, uh, with everybody else. Um, so in that sense, it kind of sucks that my vote didn't go towards um, the Electoral College vote. But I do really think it's important to get my voice heard in the popular vote. Do you think the fact that you voted means that the people who are in office are more likely to listen to, to someone like you or, or folks in your generation. If you're not going to vote, then there is no voice to be heard. So I feel like voting, definitely, even if it is just a small percentage, it definitely helps get your voice and your opinion out there and helps select people that matter to you. Do you think that democracy is working for your generation? I think there is definitely issues there. Um, as mentioned before, like the Electoral College, I think it's a very outdated notion. The voting system is kind of outdated. If it were for me, I would like more if it was more like the popular vote. 
But I also feel like people my age have had so little exposure to politics and government that sometimes they feel discouraged. Any things that you would change about our elections system and how we elect our leaders in this country? What would you change if you could change anything? First off, in education, I would set like a priority that you need to learn about your government and how it runs and how to be an informed citizen, because I think that's most important out of anything. I feel like um, it should be claimed a national holiday and that everyone should get off of work. Are there any, you know, people, groups, institutions that you think uh, you might not trust as much when it comes to democracy or who are maybe making it harder for the system to work the way it's supposed to? I think the, the number one issue is uh, media bias. Um, you can go on one news channel, they're telling you something, and then you flip to an opposing news channel, and they're literally telling you the exact opposite. You've got to really like do your work to find a media source that you feel like is yeah, right down tough. the middle and trustworthy. It's mm -hmm. difficult because like our nation is very polarized, and it doesn't help that you go into echo separate echo chambers and get all riled up. People are questioning whether they want to be friends with me or not based off of my political opinions, which I think is pretty dangerous to do. Like, are there any of you who do think, yeah, maybe I can't see myself running for office one day? Sometimes I like have the passing thought like, oh, maybe I should do this. So I might just stick to um, being more like an active member of society rather than running for office. I definitely see myself running for office. I mean, uh, presidential would be nice. Obviously, I have a long ways from there. Uh, I'm so glad that you all decided to participate in the process. Congratulations on doing that. It's a really big thank deal. Uh, and thank you all again for participating.